Bismuth subsalicylate, commonly known as Pepto-Bismol, is a medication that is used to treat a lot of different gastrointestinal problems like acid reflux, diarrhea, and nausea. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about bismuth subsalicylate so you'll be ready come test day. I'm sure you've heard of Pepto-Bismol, the bubblegum pink liquid medication. Unfortunately, the NCLEX won't call it Pepto-Bismol, they'll use the generic name instead. Not a big deal though, because bismol in Pepto-Bismol can help you remember that its generic name is bismuth subsalicylate. I mean, they sound pretty similar, right? Pepto-Bismol and bismuth subsalicylate? Now that you know the generic name bismuth subsalicylate, let's move into the mnemonic to learn about all its different clinical uses. The custodian is drinking the Pepto-Bismol here because he is grossed out that he has to clean the suspicious brown stuff all over this bathroom. This picture should help you remember that bismuth subsalicylate is used to treat diarrhea. In other words, it is an anti-diarrheal medication, okay? The custodian is going to need some strong cleaner to get all this stuff cleaned up. Looks like he's prepared with a strong acid cleaner in a flask. The acid is bubbling up the narrow neck of this flask, but luckily the custodian capped it so that it doesn't overflow. Here at Pixarize, we use a flask of acid bubbling up to symbolize gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. Let me explain. The shape of the neck of this flask looks kind of like an esophagus connected to a stomach, right? Our stomach is full of acid just like this flask and in GERD, the stomach acid starts to flow up the esophagus just like this bubbling acid is going up the narrow neck of the flask. People who experience GERD or acid reflux often describe it as a burning sensation near their heart, which is why you may hear it called heartburn. Since bismuth subsalicylate treats GERD, we've symbolized this by putting a cap on the flask, which stops the acid from bubbling up. Make sense? Bismuth subsalicylate works as an antacid, neutralizing the stomach acid, which works to treat GERD. The custodian is used to cleaning up messes, but this diarrhea-covered bathroom is next level. It's making him extremely nauseous. I mean, it's even making me nauseous. In addition to drinking the bismuth subsalicylate, the custodian is cracking open a can of ginger ale. You know, since ginger ale is thought to help with nausea, Use the custodian's nausea along with this can of ginger ale to help you remember that bismuth subsalicylate is an antiemetic, meaning it is used to treat nausea and vomiting. Now that we know the three most common clinical uses of bismuth subsalicylate, let's move on to two very important nursing considerations you need to know about this drug. The custodian has completely lost his appetite. He's thrown away his lunch, a sandwich on rye bread. You can use this rye sandwich to help you remember that bismuth subsalicylate may cause rye syndrome in children. Rye syndrome is a very serious condition where children develop acute liver failure and encephalopathy. It's most commonly associated with aspirin, but can also be seen with bismuth subsalicylate since they both contain salicylate, the causative compound. The bottom line is do not give bismuth subsalicylate to children since it could cause Rye syndrome. As if the diarrhea wasn't bad enough, the walls of the bathroom are covered in a black mold. These walls used to be a lighter color, but now they've turned completely black. You know, this reminds me of how bismuth subsalicylate turns the stool a dark black color. This is an expected and benign side effect of the drug. It is not a reason to discontinue the medication or notify the provider. Just remember these black walls to remember bismuth subsalicylate causes dark black stools, okay? All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Bismuth subsalicylate, commonly known as Pepto-Bismol, is used to treat diarrhea, GERD, and nausea. It can cause Rye syndrome, a rare form of acute liver failure, and encephalopathy in children, so it should not be given to children. A benign but expected side effect of bismuth subsalicylate is dark or black-colored stools. And now we're actually done with bismuth subsalicylate. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.